Hello, my name is Mark with Scared Shipless, SoCal, California. What we have here is a 1950 Crosley wagon that we're building into a street rod. We wanted to improve the brakes, so we actually came up with a really unique idea. First, what we did was we removed our drum and backing plate. We incorporated a 4130 Chrome Ollie disc brake bracket that actually mounts to the original spindle. They say that Crosley was actually the first ones to actually invent the disc brake for their cars in 1949. They only used that system for about six months. They found out that when they salted the roads, the brake pucks would freeze and the brakes would fail. However, a lot of credit is given to Studebaker or credit, but with my research, it actually shows that in 1902 in England, Lanchester was actually the first one to develop the disc brake system. It was actually run with a rod, and it was a thin copper sheet which had pistons that squeezed the center section of the disc brake. Let's take a closer look at our disc brake system. Utilizing a more modern disc brake setup was good for our application since we have a 340 horse engine in our vehicle. What we've done is we actually made our bracket, we actually made our hub, which actually takes the original bearings and seal from our original Crosley drum. We incorporated our disc brakes in the forward motion to give us more stability and stopping power. Our bracket actually mounts on our original spindle. My name is Mark and I want to thank you for watching.